Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and greetings from Prophet Elias Greek Orthodox Church in Santa Cruz. Today we have a great joy and blessing to see our beloved Maria Thomas uh, from San Diego, who is also our parish uh, council member, but also the president of our Philoptokos chapter. Maria, good morning and greetings from, from Santa Cruz. Good morning and greetings actually from Carlsbad. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Legoland. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. As you know, brothers and sisters, our Philoptokos is very busy and thanks to all of you, we are able to help many people, not only locally, but internationally as well. But instead of me, I would like to ask our Philoptokos president, uh, what we did, Maria, in the last couple weeks or months, uh, where we are right now and uh, what we are going to do in the near future, helping those who are in need. Okay. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. And, um, and first also, thank you to all of our donors and supporters, because without you, we can't do this incredible work. We're a small chapter. But um, just locally, in the last um, seven months even, um, since the whole COVID thing started, we've been helping seven different families. Then the fires hit, and we've helped seven other families uh, with various needs, whether it's paying bills, um, cards for food, uh, that kind of thing. And even down to something as simple as a handful of children getting bikes so they can stay enjoying being a child and have some moments like that in their life, despite mm -hmm. all the chaos going on. Can you, excuse me for the interruption, can you just share with our community a little bit more about these um, two kids that they got bikes thanks to, to our people and to Philoptokos? Just a few yeah, words about sure. that. Sure. We have worked for years with the local Santa Cruz uh, foster care system, and they partner with other, other programs. And one of those other programs reached out to us for a very particular family um, who have two young boys, and the grandmother is having to, to raise them. And the kids are doing well, but they struggle, obviously, when both parents could no longer take care of them. Uh, she saw they needed some sort of outlet to be able to exercise and just do other things. So um, they reached out to us and uh, we looked around and we found a good community base in Santa Cruz called the, the, um, the Bike Church. Uh -huh. And they do all kinds of amazing things. Uh, locally, they give free helmets, they help match up bikes and sizes, and we hook those guys up and our Philoptikos paid for them to each get a new bike. And they were so thrilled, they sent a lovely thank you note and the grandma said they were so excited um and it just it made their day something so simple you know so that's one way um in that same vein of foster care um we were uh, asked again to help and a young person who got to go back to their family of origin but is struggling and expresses themselves through art is low on supplies so they asked could we provide art supplies and i said of course we will and so now we're in the midst of getting art supplies for this person to do some creative work and work through their, their difficulties and feel supported beyond their family, beyond the foster care person. Glory be to God, thank yeah. you. And now you can continue with things that we did, like helping seven families, you said, during the- Yeah, yeah, the, um, uh, then the fires hit. And so after that, many uh, families lost either their entire homes or their stuff was so damaged or it affected where they lived for a time because of cleaning and toxicity issues. So we're assisting seven different families that way. Um, one family we're helping to replace um, all their kitchen items, a small amount of their kitchen items. Um, another family we're helping that we've kind of adopted, if you will, to help see this mom and her kids through till she's completely back on her feet. Um, we're helping with um, just paying bills, food, uh, eventually collecting things once her place is cleaned appropriately because again, toxicity levels. And again, for her kids to have bikes so they can feel and have some normalcy back in their everyday life. Um, and that's pretty much the, I would say the local ones, all the fire things, all the COVID things. And then nationally, all the philoptokosis contributed to our national philoptokosis. So that money's there that we give there occasionally 
helps across the entire country for different things. So when the when the Lebanon thing hit, I probably shouldn't say that word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know, like the yeah. explosion, yeah. right? Yeah, they called on all of us. We contributed to that. They they've helped with uh, hurricane victims. They've helped with, again with COVID people specifically early on, and then we jumped to international and internationally. Um, we have a sister church in Kenya, Africa, yes. and we've been yes. supporting them quarterly, which is very crucial because not only were they already an impoverished place struggling to um, live out the Orthodox faith with their whole hearts, they're joyous people, and they love the faith, um, then they were hit with locusts. So then their food supply is threatened on top of COVID. Um, so we, we want to make sure that we can consistently help in that area. So we help them. Um, and we've also helped a few other areas in the Middle East uh, due to war situations and mostly children and hospitals, things of that nature. And we, in all these situations, we're fortunate we have direct links. There's no nebulous of, well, there goes the money. I hope it gets there. Every place we give, we either have a personal contact person we know who physically is overseeing that or a trustworthy organization um, that gets those funds right where they need to go. So, as I understand, our Philoptokos now at this moment help simultaneously locally here, like these families, it's still going on process. Then nationally, we participate in the national Philoptokos, right. but also internationally, we help from through our own connections directly to people who are in need. Exactly. And I left off the other one, we also help in yes. India. India, there's boys and girls school that are uh, an Orthodox school, but we don't limit it to just Orthodox. Anybody in those circles over there, because we're not, you know, we have no boundaries there. We help whoever's in need, but we also have a, a, a situation over there, Sister um, Nectaria, yeah. that we help. Yeah. But how now our people, I know that majority of our people already helping Philoptokos, but what is the best way for, uh, for our parishioners and friends of this parish and all of those people who listen to this message, how they can contribute. Like if I want to make a donation, how it goes. Right, so basically, if you want to make a general donation to Philoptokos, you go to our, our website, the prophet Elias, uh, Santa Cruz org, and you can give them the more specific address there. I'm terrible at remembering those. <laughs> yeah, prophetiliassc.org. Yes, thank you. Um, you can go there, select the donation button, and then you'll see you have options. It will say various options of philoptokos, stewardship, um, special appeal, things of yes. that nature. Pick the philoptokos, and when you go to enter in the financial amount, say $50, in that same box, if you want it to go to something particular within philoptokos, that's the space to write it. If you just put the money, that's fine. It'll go into our general uh, box and we'll discern how to use it. But if you want specifically to say, Philoptikos bikes for children, Philoptikos art supplies for foster care, you can, you can specify if you want within that box where you put in your monetary amount. And that's, that's one way um, to help us keep this going and to expand, um, yeah. But are you planning to have any kind of fundraising besides this appeal? Because usually we have a big fundraising during the festival. But right. this year, unfortunately, we are not able to have the festival. How do you think that we can uh, organize and how our people can participate in this specific fundraising for Philoptokos and all activities that we are planning? Right. Well, one idea that... Um I was coming up with and thinking about because um, since we can't come together, we can't really do the food things like festival that we've done in the past that really helped. Um, another way to do it while we're not only thinking of um, helping others outside of ourselves, but we're also going to be asking God to bless our loved ones is in November, we're looking at having a special service where Father would uh, commemorate those people that if you want to donate to Philoptikos in honor of a loved one's memory, like for myself, yeah. I will be doing this for my brother, John, even yeah. though he passed away 20 years ago, very close. Um, I'm going to donate in honor of his memory to Philoptikos. And then mm -hmm. Father will have a special service to commemorate all these names as well as pray for all those who have given. 
lovely. Yes, we are going to do brothers and sisters as, as um, Maria says on November 14th is um, Saturday. We are going to have a um, divine liturgy, but also including the specific memorial service for all of our donors who were donating and sisters who passed away, who were a, a part of the Philoptokos. But uh, we already can start to collect the names of those that you would like that we pray for. Uh, when you uh, go to our website or you come in the person in the church, and you want to give the names and use the nation for the Philoptokos, uh, just do as Maria said, go to uh, our website and click on the donation uh, to donate button and go to Philoptokos and put the names and the amount that you would like to donate or just give, um, give me the names um, when you come to the church to pray with us in person. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's November 14th, correct, Maria? It's Saturday. Yes. Yeah, because uh, uh, currently under the special appeals button, if you click that right now, that's for a very specific uh, giving for Armenia just through the 25th, I believe, of this month. So use just the Philoptico section put in your monetary amount and then right next to it, type in the names of whoever you want uh, to be re remembered at that Remember. service. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And uh, it doesn't matter the amount, it's the intention, you know, God honors the intention of our hearts. He loves us uh, being joyful givers. And like you always say, Father, um, this benefits us because we pray for those who have gone on who can't pray for themselves and they in turn pray for us. So. What a, what a beautiful thing to exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at the end, I would like to ask you also to, to let us know why you choose to be a part of Philoptokos and why others should be a part of Philoptokos. What is specific about Philoptokos? Because you could choose many other things to be a, 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 in other committees or ministries, but why, why to be a member and now, of course, as the president of the, our chapter? What is Philoptokos? Uh, well, you know, um, there's a technical sort of explanation about Philoptokos being the extending charity arm of the church, but basically I'd rather look at it as what that word means, you know, friends of those in need and, um, and, and, and helping uh, people without any kind of prejudice or uh, thought, just the need is there, how do I meet it, you know, and trying to just be obedient to what Christ asked us to do, you know, clothe the naked, feed the hungry, visit, um, all those different things. We're not special because we do that, but we're obedient if we do that. And, uh, and it gives such joy to help others. And I, I find personally that by focusing on that and doing that, I'm not so consumed about the worries of life and all the crazy stuff going on because those things I'm powerless over, you know, and with God's help and our joy and our love of helping, it gives energy and, uh, and it shows the, the, um, the Christian life to everybody outside of us who doesn't know us. And that's the other thing about Philoptokos. It is not limited to Orthodox Christians, Christians. Our first job is to step outside of that and help those who don't even know him and then from there help our own. So for me, it's, it's, it's those things and also the camaraderie of your membership. You know, we work together as a team. I, I'm not sitting here doing all these wonderful things. There's this wonderful team and uh, treasurers and secretary and individuals and they do so much to participate. And I, I think they find joy in, in doing this too. Otherwise, I don't think they would do it. <laughs> Who can be a part of my, how I can become a a member? A member of Philoptokos. And what um, do you do? Whom to speak to? Yeah, you can, you can either um, speak to myself or our, we have that email address of Catherine's at prophetelias.org yes. um, and say you'd like to be a member. Um, that's one way they can tell you. You can pass the, the words on to me. They can reach out to other Philoptokos members, uh, Alexa Bolas, our treasurer, um, <clears throat> and anybody actually can be a member. Uh, the thing about being a member and having the ability to, to vote when we have certain decisions, you have to be an Orthodox Christian and a member of the parish and of, on the, um, 
the committee for a while to do that, but anybody can come and help and, and be a part of that. You know, they have a once a year dues of $35. And of that 35, a small amount goes to national, a small amount goes to regional, and the little tiny amount that's left stays with us. Um, and that basically gives you the ability to vote on, on different decisions and stuff like that and how things are done. But, but we welcome anybody and everybody to, to join us and help us do God's work in all these areas. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Maria, so much. And um, I really all believe and pray that this beautiful appeal is going to be heard by many, that in the next few weeks we are going to see many, many donations specifically related to those who are in need. And uh, God really multiplies. And mm -hmm. we know that he multiplies in few dollars, he creates hundreds of dollars that we can are able to help numerous people. But also God bless us with many renovations in our church, in our the health, spiritual health, first and foremost of our parish, but also blessing us in our personal lives. May God bless all of you. And we are looking forward to see all of you here at Prophet Elias or through, your, through our YouTube channel to be with us. And again, Maria, thank you so much for being today with us and greetings to you and to your family in San Diego. God thank keep you, you as well. <laughs> thank you.